Rows are one of the best exercises for building a strong upper back and reinforcing good posture. The rings are the best apparatus to use that. But if you don't have a pair of rings, I've made a video on how to do rows with just a bed sheet and your door. However, if you get a pair of rings, I'm going to share with you in this video the proper form and the row progressions because a lot of people think rows are too easy, but there are progressions you've never seen before that will probably enlighten you and you will enjoy it. So even if you could do pull-ups, rows are extremely helpful because they not only build a really strong upper back, but they'll build the retraction strength for a front lever and the shoulder extension strength for a muscle up, for example. So the benefits are many. And so I'm going to go over the form and the progression. If you don't know who I am, my name is Antranik. Please remember to subscribe right now and hit the bell button and give this video a thumbs up and let's move on to the form. First, notice my arms are completely straight as I'm demonstrating how I'm pinching my shoulder blades back and letting them go. Pinching them back together with straight arms is called retraction and that's what you want to do before you start any row. You also want to stab the elbows as far back behind you and make sure the elbows don't go far out to the sides. Keep them somewhat close to the body. When you're using the rings, you could rotate the palms toward you as you row. And if you lose the retraction at the bottom, pinch them back together again. Another important thing is don't let your shoulders go up toward your ears. Pull them down away from the ears, retract, and then row. So the rowing mechanics are pretty simple overall. Now let's go over the progressions. First, set the rings to stomach height and try to achieve three sets of eight reps, resting two to three minutes between each set. If it's too difficult, walk your feet back. If it's easy, walk your feet forward. Good, just like that. The difficulty of the rows are dictated by the height of the rings and where you place your feet. So in this first demonstration, they were set to stomach height and my feet were behind and I walked them forward and now I'm lowering them to hip height to demonstrate the basic body weight row. Just like that. And again, if this is too difficult, walk your feet back. Yeah, just like that. And try to achieve three sets of eight reps before moving the feet forward. Or you can just do it now, fine, Mr. Show Off. And as you get stronger, you can even raise your feet on a chair. But if the chair is not an option for you, because you're at a park, and you want to make the rows harder, you could raise one knee up as much as possible and it will add about 15 to 20% in the load. Alternatively, you could place the foot on the opposite knee and it'll increase the intensity by about 15% still. So that's pretty cool. But now you're gonna to wanna to walk your ass back a bit again because you're gonna make it even harder and move on to incline one arm rows. You want to try to minimize your torso from twisting because some people twist a lot and that's not helpful. Your torso will twist inevitably, but you want to minimize the twisting and try to stab the elbows as far back behind your back still. After you master that beastly exercise, your next progression exercise are the tucked front lever rows. But to do these, you need to be able to hold the tucked front lever statically easily. Luckily, the pathway to this is pretty straightforward. So if you can't hold a tucked front lever, I recommend you go into an inverted hang, tuck and lower your hips as slowly as possible while you keep your arms straight with elbows locked the entire time. Do that repetitively and one day you'll find it's quite easy to stop yourself midway and hold it there. 
and that means you've achieved the tucked front lever which is a straight arm static row and you're starting to enter the more intermediate levels of rowing strength at this point and then one day you can start rowing dynamically in a tucked front lever and last but not least are the mechanical advantage front lever rows where you do a negative in any shape harder than a tuck so in this demo i row up in a tuck and do a negative with one leg tucked and one leg straight so it's best to do these negatives by rowing up in a tuck holding the bent elbows as you advance the shape and then slowly lower down i hope you guys found this video insightful please leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns or any kind of commentary please let me know and if you're not subscribed please do so now and remember to hit the bell button as well so you'll get notifications on my new content and remember to hit the like button for the algorithm and if you're interested in more training on the rings i have a whole rings routine that you could see in the description of this video and every video that i have where you'll learn so many more skills and strength training progressions that you could do on the rings and have a buttload of fun. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.